Quinn Coach was just asked about the offensive line kind of gelling. How do you feel like you guys, are, you know, are working together, you know, five new guys? <clears throat> yeah. Point? Yeah, I think everything's going really well. You know, obviously in training camp, you have a lot of time together. So, you know, hanging out in between meetings, spending a lot of time in our meetings, communicating, and then also on the field in between periods. Um, I know specifically with Mike and I, we're communicating a lot, and then also all five of us. And that's cause that's the main thing is getting us all on the same page. Coach said he wants running to be part of his team. How does the line play a role in that? Uh, it's we set the tone, um, you know, in the run game, and it's it's our job to get the movement and to uh, at the end of the day influence or make the coach want to call more runs because that's a lot of fun for us. Were you encouraged to kind of have the belly return this year? It's like it's back a little more. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> well, this is going on year three. Um, I'm, I wish we would stop talking about the belly. Um, <laughs> I'm just kind of doing my thing. Um, I appreciate the question, but I'm just trying to play football and get better. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we as soon as we uh, came off the field, we knew that that was uh, unacceptable. Um, that is not the kind of offense we're going to be this year. Um, so it was just kind of refocusing and, uh, you know, kind of putting that last two minute behind us, but learning from it and, you know, coming out the second two minute and uh, executing a lot better and more efficiently. I, all of us are on the same page on the offense, you know, of like, hey, that's that's not what we do. That's not right. We got to we got to be better than that because. Um, Two-minute offense is a lot of the time what wins and loses games, so we got to be better in that aspect. So do you sort of get to know Mike and Zach a lot? Do you sort of experiment about what works? How you, you know, talk about things that you need to know? How you sort of facilitate? Yeah, that we're just trying to, you know, get the fundamentals down of this of this offense and this scheme. And as we get, have more time together, we're going to be able to play with the nuances within that scheme and also how we play as, as players. Um, so, you know, we're, we're continuing to build on that. But, you know, right now, I would say that we're, you know, we're kind of more so focused on the basic rules and fundamentals of, of, the, of the offense. Excuse me. <clears throat> how beneficial is it to have uh, your offensive line coach who's not only coached in this game, but played in this game? Um, yeah, so to go off of, like, the little nuances, he can, he can coach those things. You know, he can... You know the little the little details um, within the offense. You know that will really help us be more successful um, with every play that we run. So um, it's extremely valuable valuable to have someone like that um, coaching us every day. Some of your most memorable blocks have been for Javante when you're finishing downfield. What's it like to see him back there? The way he's performing. It's incredible. You know you, you always you know feel real bad for a guy. You know when when they have a an injury like that. So. Um, it's, I'm really happy for him. You know, he, I saw, saw him every day putting in the work. So for him to be back out here and, you know, making, making great cuts and, you know, when it, when it gets the time to play in ball, I know that he's going to be knocking defenders back and we're going to be pushing that pile. Now, you cross paths with J.J. Watt. I think it was in the offseason to work with him. What do you see from Zach Allen uh, working against him? Yeah, Zach um, has definitely, you know, he used, you know, when J.J. was in Arizona, Zach definitely uh, learned a little bit from him. You know, he... The way he lines up, and sometimes we'll play um, backside into things. You know, he—you he, uh, really got to play him true. Um, you know, he practices hard every single day. Just, and it's—it's uh, it's really fun to to go against him every single day and uh, continue to get better. For you, you in, for you in terms of learning offenses, what has the overall experience been like of one scheme in 21, one in 22, and this one now? And how important is it to kind of? hopefully have some consistency this year, next year, and beyond. Yeah, uh, a hidden positive in that is that I've gotten, you know, pretty good at learning offenses. You know, I, uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, as you keep learning new offenses, things start to overlap a little bit. So this was kind of like the first time things were overlapping a little bit for me. So I, I found it easier to learn um, this offense. And I think the way that um, the coaches were going through installs, reinstalling the first ones and, and having us hear the the concepts and whatever we were installing, you know, three or four times from when we first got here in spring has also been really valuable as well. Yeah, one-on-ones are, um, 
a Twitter drill, as some people say. But at the end of the day, no, it's, it really is working our craft, working on something new. And uh, it's not necessarily about the wins and the losses. It's about, you know, where your feet in the correct position, where your hands working the right thing. And it's the same thing for the defensive line. It's they're, they're getting an opportunity to work a pass rush move that maybe they're not working in team because it is truly a one-on-one -on -one situation. So um, there are there is some value when it comes to one on ones, and uh, that's kind of the that's kind of the drill. Did you, did you have good hands and good feet, and then from there, that's kind of how we're graded.